Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a Bath & Body Works haul and I'm going to be showing you guys the body care products that I picked up for the recent holiday collections. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Amy. I do videos on all things girly, especially videos on smelling good. If you like that type of content, don't forget to subscribe before you leave today's video. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you here with me today and I appreciate you guys so, so much. With that said, let's get right into today's haul. All right guys, so I have my Bath & Body Works box right here and I did pick up all of the new stuff that I don't own. And then I also took out the ones that I have from last year just so that I can give you like a recap on how I feel about them because I didn't pick up the scents that I already owned because I still have a lot left. It's very hard for me to go through fragrance mist. I do finish up my body creams super fast, but my fragrance mists do last me a little bit longer. So I'm going to start off with like the traditional Christmas scents that Bath & Body Works releases. And I am going to talk real quick about Vanilla Bean Noel. This one is from last year. So this is not the one from this year. And I am going to say this because I want to know how many of you guys feel the same way. So we're definitely going to be chit chatting in the comments section. I have heard this going around and I have seen it in the reviews on Bath & Body Works, but I want to see how you guys feel about this. I don't know what is up with Vanilla Bean Noel, but there's something really weird that happens with this fragrance mist. So the notes for this fragrance mist are fresh vanilla bean, sugar cookies, warm caramel, whipped cream, and snow kissed musk. That sounds like a dream. It's like a gourmand lover's dream. When I went to the store the other day and I smelled Vanilla Bean Noel, I kind of liked the one that was in the store a little bit more than the one from last year because for some reason I'm getting like a funky smell out of this Vanilla Bean Noel. Like when I first spray it, it almost gives me like a, I don't want to say it, but kind of like when your kid throws up or something and it gets kind of like on their clothes and it has like that really nasty smell. And then mixed with like really nice vanilla, sugary, sweet scent. So it's very weird. That's why it's pretty much full because every time that I try to wear it, I kind of get like those vibes. I don't get that with the body cream. The body cream actually smells sweet, but it doesn't smell as good as the fragrance mist. Like the body cream just doesn't do it for me. So I don't know, I don't know what's going on. I have heard that the Vanilla Bean Noel a few years back was like amazing. And then lately it has just been really bad. And I don't know if to go get the Vanilla Bean Noel that's at the store right now, because I don't remember this smelling funky when I first got it. So I don't know if, if I get the one this year, if it's also going to turn a little funky after a while. I don't know. If it didn't have that funky smell, this would literally be like one of my favorite vanilla fragrance mist and body lotions because it just smells so sweet, but it's just not, I, I think I'm gonna go pick up that, is it EOS body cream that smells just like Vanilla Bean Noel? I don't think that I will get that funky scent from that one. Let me know your thoughts on Vanilla Bean Noel and how you feel about and it. And then next up, let's talk about Vanilla Mocha Martini. So I picked up the fragrance mist and I picked up the body cream. I absolutely love this packaging. Now, I didn't know that this was vanilla mocha cream pretty much repackaged. So I already have vanilla mocha cream and this packaging is really, really cute too. So I'm just gonna keep both. This is a very cozy, just coffee, a little bitter. I also get like that mocha vibe. So it's like a very dark, chocolate type of vibe mixed in with coffee and a little creamy. It's really, really nice and this is beautiful to layer with any vanilla fragrances, coffee fragrances, it's perfect for that. I was supposed to be talking about the tradition, like the traditional Christmas one, so let's get back to those. Winter Candy Apple, I still have one from last year, so I didn't purchase that this year. This has Candy Red Apple, Winter Rose Petals, Candied Orange, Maple Leaf, and Fresh Cinnamon. Beautiful apple fragrance mist, beautiful for when you don't want an apple fragrance mist that's too summery or too juicy, too fruity. 
This one has a little bit of spice from that cinnamon. It's beautiful for Christmas time. It's definitely not my favorite scent from the Christmas collections, but it's one that I like and I like to have to layer with apple fragrances, especially Kayali Eden Juicy Apple with this one. It's so nice. And then here I also have Christmas cookies. I didn't pick it up this year. I still have some from last year. And this one, the notes are creamy cookie dough, almond biscotti, and caramel woods. This is for the gourmand lovers. So good. I love it. Now, it's not something that I can wear all the time. I can't wear this during the daytime because it would be so cloying, so sticky and thick in the heat. But for bedtime, when I'm gonna go to bed, I layer this with so many types of scents and it always just turns out so good. It's so sweet, so yummy. You smell like a cookie. So Christmas cookies is a perfect name for this. It's so good. It's really thick. It's almost doughy. I love it so, so much. So yeah, that is Christmas cookies. And if you love gourmand scents, if you love cookie scents, this is such a good one. Now I'm going to get into the ones that are new to me. So I did pick up Dream Bright. So yeah, when I saw this packaging, all I thought of was shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> so this has notes of sapphire berries, night blooming orchid, and crystallized vanilla. This one makes me think of YSL Mon Pari, but like a softer version. It's the only thing that I can think of in my collection that smells this way. Yeah, this might be a bit of a dupe for YSL Mon Pari, but I wear the EDT. I don't like the EDP version. So this just smells like a perfume. It smells expensive. It smells like, like an expensive designer fragrance. It smells floral. The berries give it a very nice touch. So I really think that this reminds me of YSL Mon Pari. I know a lot of people are also describing it as Into the Night, but like a softer version and I also do get that as well. So if Into the Night is too much for you, is too strong, this will definitely be nice. And this definitely is in that category of fragrance mist where it smells more like a perfume. It smells more feminine, more sexy, more high end. It doesn't smell like you're wearing a fragrance mist. And yeah, I don't know how I feel about this packaging. I mean, it's cute, but it's a little, it's a little much, but it's cute, it's cute. That is Dream Bright. So I might put this in another fragrance mist that smell like perfumes video because I do, I haven't tried to figure out what it was reminding me of. And finally, now that I sat down to film and I smelled the cap, it definitely gives me Mon Pari vibes for sure. So that's Dream Bright. So I got the fragrance mist, I got the body cream, and I also got the moisturizing body wash. Like the next one that I picked up, and I did blind buy these, so I didn't know how they smelled, I just picked them up. And this one is Bright Christmas Morning. This one, I still don't know how I feel about it. It's definitely not a favorite. Uh, the packaging I think is beautiful. It's really like whimsical. It just makes me think of like just a very enchanting, beautiful, bright Christmas. It makes me think of those people that decorate their trees like with pink and it's super glamorous and pretty. I, I, I want to do a tree like that at some point, but this makes me think of that. It just makes me think of like glamorous Christmas trees and stuff when I look at the packaging. So the notes for this fragrance mist is ripe red berries, blood orange, and crisp apple. And I'm going to spray this on my skin because I don't, I don't know. This is not really my type of scent. It's very fruity. It doesn't smell like a holiday fragrance. It's just a lot of fruity notes and citrusy notes. Yeah, I don't know. It kind of has like a fizzy type of vibe to it. And I'm not a fan of those like champagne or fizzy type of fragrances. I do not like those. It might go to like one of my girls or something because it does smell appropriate for like a younger girl like a teenager or something like that. I feel like this would be really, really nice for a teenager, for someone who's younger and they want something that's a little brighter, not so serious or sexy or anything like that. This one, it smells nice, but it's just not for me. So let me try out the body cream. Yeah, no, no, not my favorite. 
let me know what you guys think about bright Christmas morning. Next up, we have iced sugar plum. And this packaging is so adorable. I love it. I love the little penguin on the body cream. And it just makes me think of like a winter wonderland. It's so pretty. I love the blue color. I like it a lot. So the notes for this fragrance mist are sparkling sugar plum, snowdrop petals, and whipped marshmallow. And it says sweet sugar plum and sparkling berries topped with the warmth of whipped vanilla. Now, this one, I also don't know how I feel about it because I don't know why instead of plum, I'm getting like blueberry vibes. And that's the only reason why I'm going to keep this, even though I'm getting like that Captain Crunch type of vibe that I get with the uh, berry waffle cone and those types of like very gourmand fragrance mist. That's kind of what this makes me think of. It has, definitely has that Captain Crunch berry the berry cereal. It definitely has that vibe a little bit, but I'm going to keep this because it kind of makes me think of the blueberry pancakes. Is it blueberry sugar pancakes or something like that? But that one is just super, super thick and strong and loud. This one, I feel like it's a little bit more toned down. And I just finished reviewing the latest release from Juliet has a gun. It's called Eagle Stratus. If you haven't watched I'm not sure what I'm gonna upload yet, but if that video is up on my channel, watch the review for that fragrance. It has blueberry in it and I'm just so in love with it. And I want something to layer with that fragrance and I think this is going to be it because it makes me think of blueberries. So I feel like it's going to go so nice with that fragrance. Yeah, I think it's gonna go really, really nice with that fragrance and it's going to add like a sugary sweet touch to it. So I'm probably gonna love it even more. This is just very sweet sugary gourmand it's so it's really good i like it i i'm not a fan of like that cereal type of vibe but it's not as loud in this one it's not as prominent as like berry waffle cone i cannot do that one i feel like i'm a walking captain crunch like little captain crunch man walking around with berry waffle cone but this one is nice i like it it's definitely better than bright christmas morning for me and yeah i really really like it now i will say that these haven't really like blown my mind, but I'm definitely gonna give them time to use them. I feel like the fragrance mist also need time to sit, just like how perfumes do. My fragrance mist that I have from last year smells so much like more concentrated and stronger than when I first get them. So yeah, that is Iced Sugar Plum. Next up, we have Strawberry Snowflakes. This pack, they did so good on a lot of the packaging. I walked into the store the other day and I was just like mesmerized because everything was like glittery and shining and just so beautiful. I love anything that has glitter. It's like hypnotizing to me. So I picked up the strawberry snowflakes. I didn't pick up anything the day that I went. I just kind of went to see what they had in store because I had already placed my order. So strawberry snowflakes has notes of juicy strawberry, whipped cream, and iced bergamot. I love this. I love this so much. And here's why. I bought strawberry pound cake. I bought the body cream and I bought the fragrance mist. And I love the way that that smells for the body care. Sometimes I feel like that one can be a little bit much. Like it's very, very strong. It's very thick. It's very in your face. It's like a strawberry shortcake set right in front of your face. Now this one, you get the strawberry, but it's like a whipped, fluffy creamy strawberry a little bit airy and then that ice bergamot kind of adds like this brightness to it and it's so girly it's so sweet it's just so like innocent but it's going to layer really really nice with strawberry fragrances or just any like fruity fragrance that you want to layer it with or maybe even with like a vanilla fragrance and you want to add um like a strawberry touch to it it's really really nice now it's not super strong but i think that's kind of what i like about it so this one is a little bit softer a little bit more delicate and i feel like it's really really nice for layering so that is it for the scents that i picked up i did pick up a new fireside flurries body cream because i'm running low on my other one i use it a lot i pair it with replica coffee break ariana grande's rem so i did pick up another body cream and i still have my fragrance mist from last year so this has notes of toasted marshmallow pink lavender and cashmere woods 
this is just so beautiful i love this so so much this to me is like a beautiful scent to just go to sleep with it to wear it at home to relax it's very aromatic to me and sweet at the same time and somehow a little bit like fluffy i guess it's because of that marshmallow so I'm very, very happy to have another body cream of that. And then really quickly before I end the video, I also have Starlit Night, which is available and the packaging is beautiful this year. So Starlit Night has notes of snowberry, midnight iris, and sensual agar wood. This is really, really nice. I got this last year, so I didn't get it this year, but this is like Baccarat Rouge 540 with berries added to it. It's an airy, fruity, a little powdery type of scent really really nice you can also use this to layer it with ariana grande's cloud and it will be so beautiful because i did that last year and it smelled so so good it just gives it like a little bit more of a sweet fruity touch to cloud or to baccarat rouge 540 it's very sweet sugary airy and fruity really really nice without it being too spring or summery it's perfect for fall and winter if you like fruity scents but you want them to be a little bit more appropriate for cooler weather beautiful one and then there's also snowflakes and cashmere which i also have from last year and this has notes of vanilla cashmere cream caramel woods and frosted clementine such a good one as well this one to me smells more chic more dainty like that clean it type of girl like it just fits that type of aesthetic in my mind like if you're the type of girl that doesn't like very fruity fragrances or very gourmand fragrances or too floral like those are not your thing this one also has a bit of like a woody touch i guess it's from those caramel woods in here it's such a beautiful one. So yeah, this is another one that I really, really recommend. It smells really, really good. And it's one of my favorite ones from the holiday scents. So that brings me to the end of today's haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below what have you picked up from Bath & Body Works this holiday season. I am so excited to hear what you're into and what your thoughts are on those other things that I mentioned, so like the Vanilla Bean Noel, what do you think about that? How do you feel about the new fragrance mist? Do you feel like they're watered down? I feel like they're a little bit watered down. They're a little bit less potent than they used to be. And I have been buying Bath & Body Works since I was 13 years old. So I do remember Bath & Body Works being way more long lasting, more concentrated, I just feel like it, it just smelled way like the quality was better back then but there are like hits and misses lately but overall i feel like the scents are really nice they're not like mind-blowing to me it's not like my favorite collection ever but there are some nice ones in there i cannot wait to talk to you guys in the comments section thank you so so much for being here with me and give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And before I leave, I also have a Victoria's Secret haul coming up very soon. So I also picked up Holiday Fragrance Mist from Victoria's Secret and that will be up on the channel soon. So I will see you guys in the next video.